my coworkers and I occasionally order in food for lunch. The other day, I gave a woman $10 for lunch, but she accidentally had it delivered to her house instead of our office. Let she me be clear here. Money. These are also from the before time. Right, yes. Oh, okay. When are we going to start getting questions from the after times, Travis? Well, we had a lot saved up, Justin, because we went on the Joko and we had recorded a bunch of episodes, and I'm not going to burn good questions just because they're How? from a long begotten time. These are shelf-stable questions, Justin. Yeah. Well, how how are we to advise? Are we to advise them in the context of the now? To advise I them in the context of the future? I haven't forgotten what life was like. It's yeah. not gone from my memory, Justin. I could dream. A man can no, dream. No, no. I'm like I'm like the gorillas in instinct. I think freedom is just something <laughs> I dreamed. <laughs> Fucking love that flick. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins phoning it in. <laughs> love it. Good flick. Good flick. Uh, my, so we ordered food for lunch. The other day, I gave a woman ten dollars for lunch, but she accidentally had it delivered to her house instead of our office. She gave back the money, and I thought we were square, and that she would just eat it for dinner. On Monday, she brought my food in for me four days after it was delivered. I feel bad that she's out ten dollars, but I'm not going to eat it. Should I pay her for this old food, or are we good? Huh? That's from Alex in Minneapolis. P.S. It was a Middle Eastern salad with chicken and hummus. Okay. That ain't mm. gonna hang. That's That no. ain't a four-day hang, is it? No. But what it's, is? But what I is, mean, is, I guess, I'm not yeah. saying you need to throw... I'm saying that if you have not been able to witness the life cycle of this food, right, yeah. and then it is brought to you, there are so many points of failure along the way. <laughs> exactly, yes. Uh, yes, it was sitting on the porch at least for a while while you were at work with them. And then I guess it was over the weekend and you know Susan got weird on the weekend and your yeah. fucking your your Middle Eastern salad may have been in and I apologize but the splash zone there's like no fucking way dude we Susan had this food delivered to her home instead of your office. We don't know a lot about Susan, but I can say one thing concretely. She's a careless person. Yes. yes. And I don't think I don't think this is the sort of person you trust with food hygiene. Yes, correct. And I would say, hey, Susan, if you're listening, weird move to bring the food in on Monday. That's a weird one. Susan knows that. This is not news to Susan. Now, is she out ten dollars? Yeah. Yes. But that's that's good because you need to, she needs to have some sort of loss. She needs yes. to experience mm. loss. She needs to experience a ten dollar grief right right now, and then she will be a little bit more careful to press that little button and order food to the right place. I one of two. I'm confused by another facet of this question. Okay, the order was placed by Susan, and maybe there's more clarity in the question, Trevor, that you've edited out, but. The order was placed by Susan. Was it for one meal for Alex? Hmm. Was Ale did Alex have Susan order one discreet meal for them to enjoy? Because there's a we've we've added a, an unnecessary middleman here, a middle Susan, if you will, into this process. Because that is an order you could definitely handle yourself. Oh. The alternative is Susan was placing a bulk order. And <laughs> she showed up. <laughs> to her home to find a big hot stinky pile of Mediterranean fare. <laughs> oh, man, uh, just if you on her stoop. If you knew you were coming back to a house with a porch full of really any kind of food that had been sitting in the hot sun all day, like I, if I was Susan, I would just like five o'clock closing time. Everybody's leaving. They see me still at my desk working. Like, hey, Susan, it's it's closing time. And then I would say like, well, n no, I don't have a house anymore. That house yeah. is the raccoon's house. Uh, there's raccoons <laughs> and one big bear that I guess is kind of like their dad and they all live together and the bear it, like helps them, uh, bathes them, keeps them clean. It's really cute, but like I wouldn't survive in there for even a second. So, Oh, but now I showed up after 48 hours and it seems they didn't touch your salad. Ah, oh, dang. <sighs> oh, sorry, Alex. We We've all we're all concerned about our health right now and but I don't want there's there's uh, yeah, food safety can't go un unattended i do want to remind folks if you're between 40 and 140 degrees that is the danger zone you do not leave food in that zone for more than four hours 
and then consume it. And I can't, I've been running a lot of different simulations here in a program I have right. on my computer. And I, even being generous and saying this is an office where they had lunch at one and then Susan got home by five. It, it's still been in the danger zone too long. You got to trash it for sure. Trash hey, real it. quick. Can we just for a moment acknowledge that there is a delivery person that this food was ordered and they knocked and it didn't answer and they were just like, I'll leave it on the porch. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa. That happened. <laughs> protocol, right? That can't yeah, be that... protocol. What else are they going to fucking do with it? Steal it? No. What are they going to do with it? Go make it snack? Yeah. I don't know. In their van? Hey, listen, this is me. This is like a living will that I'm leaving here that if you ever deliver food to me and I don't answer the door, it's yours. Or... If it's me Beautiful. and you're delivering the food in my house and I don't answer the door, you wait because I will be there at some point and I will be so hungry. 